Hello everyone, welcome to Everyday Affairs, where we bring you all trending news and information on things happening around the world. I appreciate every one of you who has subscribed to this channel. However, if you're yet to subscribe, kindly click on the subscribe button on the right hand side of your screen, written in red, subscribe, and also hit the bell icon by its side so that you can get notification whenever a new story is published. Thank you and stay tuned. Igbo car dealers decry customs clampdown in Lagos. Igbo traders whose shops were sealed by the Nigerian Customs Service on Monday in Lagos have alleged deliberate plots to destabilize their businesses. One of the leaders of the group, Chinedu Obeche, in a press briefing held alongside the Hwanese Youth Council in Oweri yesterday, lamented the ceiling of their shops, saying it had brought hardship to them and their families. Obeche said traders had lost over 100 million naira following the shutdown of shops located at Maryland, Kostaris Road, Ikoyi, where they sold used vehicles, popularly called Tokumbo. Obeche urged President Muhammadu Buhari and leadership of the National Assembly to come to their rescue and have the shops reopened. Leader of the OYC, Ibuayaka Ibuayaka, frowned at the ceiling of the shops and sought the intervention of President Buhari. OYC is, is particularly piqued at customs that customs are carrying out their duties at the borders. There was no need mounting roadblocks or storming shops to confiscate items from traders, said Ibuayaka. Of particular note is that some of the actions and policies of the customs were targeted to harm the success of Igbo-owned businesses and this will henceforth not be accepted. The harassment of Igbo traders in Lagos must stop. Igbo traders must be allowed to go about their legitimate businesses in Lagos and other sections of the country without undue harassment from the Nigerian customs officials, said Ibuayaka. All right, viewers and listeners, you've heard um, the new story. Um, some sectors of the uh, traders, uh, Igbo traders have come out to say that they have been targeted for or targeted by the Nigerian customs services and uh, their businesses is now going down and they are losing a huge sum of money. Well, it's a general thing, I would say, from my own point of view, because recently the, the, the border closed down by the uh, federal government has affected so many other businesses. But if you look critically at the recent incident that has been happening with the Nigerian customs, just yesterday, you know, we, it was in the news that they, that they, they, they besieged the uh, Fraser Hotel in Abuja, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, requested that uh, cars, owner, car owners come down and identify their cars. And, you know, so many things. Some, were, some people said that uh, some 11 cars were impounded. So why is it now? The cars that they are missing, is, uh, they paid duties for the car. Or how would the car get into the cars, get into the country? Through the same custom border and the Nigerian borders. Who, 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 who allowed them in? These are, you know, questions are begging for answers. I don't just know what is going on recently in this country. Please drop by the comment section. Let's know what your thoughts are. Yeah. And please don't forget to subscribe to this channel.